Hey guys, it's Phone Rena. We're just going to show you a quick uh, demo of the innovative functionality that the um, the Atrix 4G has to offer, especially when you use it with the uh, optional multimedia dock uh, that that you could purchase. Basically, it's just like any other pedestal dock. You just slide in your handset in there. I'm just going to show you what what it has to offer here. So first thing, it's going to pop up. What do you want it to do? You could select different functions. You could do the Motorola web tap app. You could do the entertainment center or just do a widget clock. We're just going to show you the widget clock right here first. And as you tell, it shows you just what you normally see if you uh, run the, uh, ca the, ca the, uh, alarm clock application. And you have different functionality. Of course, you do play slideshow, shows you the temperature and also, uh, get you a bunch of different functions here. So let's just show you another neat, neat thing about this here. So if we connect it, um, we'll just get into the entertainment center here and it's going to launch the application on the handset itself and you see this a virtual um, f um, virtual remote right on here and on a television set it shows you exactly what um, what the uh, interface looks like here so you can navigate using the on-screen controls you could just press the buttons and as you can tell it's moving just like you do and just like as it mentions you could do you could uh, view you could play music you could view pictures videos start up the web top application here there's also uh, a remote that you could use with it um, it does has a bit of lag to it when you use it but it still gets the job done so if I were to use the remote with it connected it's going to be able to move between all the different um, all the different uh, screens here as you could tell so let's just uh, take a look and see what we have to offer here so let's play music here and you could again just do it through the handset itself or use the remote we'll just use the remote for now so songs, we could play songs, so it's going to output all the audio. It has a nice visualization as the song is playing, as you could tell here. So just like you, just like, uh, just playing any song on the handset itself, you have the ability to do it now to a tel on the television. So let's just go back and let's just uh, do a different thing here. Let's just check out the pictures. So if you take in pictures on your handsets and your handset and stored right on there, you'll have the ability to actually play a slideshow of it. Let's just do a couple of photos here. It shows you the gallery and you should notice it loads it up fairly quickly here. You could actually uh, take a look and you could go through all the different photos on there. So you have that functionality available to you so you quickly share uh, content like this. So let's show you another useful thing which is the videos portion of it. And the videos, of course, anything that's stored on there, any any videos, uh, we're just going to do, let's see if we can do one in DivX format here. Or actually, let's just try to do MPEG-4. And we're going to try to get a high, you know 720p video loaded up on here. So we'll have this one here, MPEG-4, 1280 by 720 resolution. And of course, it's connected to a plasma television, the device. And it's going to play it all in its full fidelity, so it's pretty neat just because you have the ability now just to automatically share content from the device onto a high-definition television set. Secondly, we're just going to show you the web top user interface. So just plug in your handset into the multimedia dock. And of course, going to ask you what do you want to do this time. And this time, we're going to do the Motorola Web Top uh, um, app service right here. So with the device, it gives you a virtual keypad, just like you see on a or a touchpad, like on a regular laptop or computer. You have your left and right buttons right there, and you have even the ability to even uh, load up the uh, the uh, keyboard. So if you want to input text, you could do that as well. Again, it has to be connected to the multimedia dock here in order for it to do it. So what we'd agreed it to, as far as the user interface, here on the television, we have it connected to a plasma. On the left-hand side right here, you have just the uh, the device itself running, and just basically like you see it on, uh, as if you're holding the handset. You could actually go through all the different stuff right here. Um, as you could tell, just moving about the different home screens, you have the ability to do that. Now, it is takes a little bit of time, just like you do on a regular computer. you got to press the left button, and then you could scroll between all the different areas right here. Um, you could also hold down. You could do a double tap like that, so you could actually move around the home uh, the home screen of the handset. So it offers a lot of interesting functionality, and that's what makes it really innovative uh, with the uh, Atrix 4G. At the bottom here, you have these carousel of buttons right here. You have one for a dialer, and basically it's going to launch the dialer app on the handset itself. You have your contacts, you have one for messaging, and even go back to the entertainment center. So you have all that available to you. Um, and the other neat thing about it, it offers stuff like a file manager, you have the web, web top zone, it even features the uh, full Firefox web browser, so you do get a nice rich web browsing experience. And again, you connect it to any high definition television set, you have a link here for Facebook and also AT&T Universe. So let's launch the uh, Firefox uh, web browser here, and just like what you're accustomed to using on a regular desktop, it offers all the rich features, full flash 10.1 support and all too as well. So we'll quickly load up something. As you notice, the web browser looks quite familiar if you've used Firefox before. 
and we'll quickly load up a, a new uh, new a new window here so or a new tab so let's do a new tab just like what you have on a regular experience on a desktop so from here if I want to type up a, a, a URL I could simply go back to the handset use the keyboard right here and just type up what I want to type up and you could tell it's showing it right there and we already have have the uh, our website selected so let's go there and just load up and it's using the data speeds from the handset to uh, to display all the stuff on the uh, high definition set so it's pulling all the data thanks to the 3G connectivity of the Atrix 4G as you can tell it's loading up our website right now and just like anything else you could just simply use a scroll ball right here, scroll bar at the right hand side and you can see it does a pretty great job. It's pretty clear for the most part, pretty reasonably sized text. Granted, though, if you're sitting far away, it does kind of make it a little bit difficult to see, but you have all the rich features available to you. You can tell that the uh, the flash flash stuff is loading as well. And we're just gonna quickly show you one. Right? Let's just load up another thing. So if I want to open this, uh, this page in a separate window, I can do right click on there, and I could do open new tab. And it's gonna open a new tab right on top. And we'll quickly just show you that. And it's again downloading um, all the stuff from the site, so it's pretty neat. And again, as we mentioned, Flash 10.1 support, so you do get that rich desktop-like feel. And, I, and it's only on, and you're getting it right through a regular television set, which is pretty impressive enough.